Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for a video today. This is going to be a box break of this blaster of 2021 Bowman that you see here. So made the mistake of picking a couple of these up recently. And since I did, I'm going to subject you to one on the channel. Um, you know, this is not really my thing usually. I'm, I'm not a prospector. I don't expect that I'm going to know who a lot of these guys are. And I don't really even know who I'm looking for or who I should be hoping to pull in this box. Uh, basically what happened here is uh, I got tipped off by a couple of different hobby buddies uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, shout out to Dwayne and, and to Rob Hirsch that these blasters were available on Target's website, target.com, uh, on a couple of different Fridays. And I think I just got so excited by the allure of paying actual retail cost for any product at all that before I really knew it, I had a couple of these in my cart and it checked out uh, each time. So I think I ended up with four in total. And I have to say, j just because I'm not a huge Bowman fan to begin with, and then, you know, I've watched a bunch of these opened on other channels that I subscribe to and have sort of been like underwhelmed. So um, honestly, my plan is to keep the other three blasters in the box and just kind of let them age on my pack shelf back there. Maybe hope that somebody who has a first Bowman in this product or a rookie card in this product really blossoms and then maybe down the road these will you know have some value or maybe a little bit more intrigue than they do to me now so i'm gonna let three of those age but we'll take a look at one of the four anyway and uh just kind of rip through these packs um i fully expect at the end of this video to regret having sliced this plastic open and probably have a pile of cards that i don't really know what to do with but um you know maybe i'll get some trade bait here or a cool Red Sox insert or something. So, all right, here's our packs. I believe we got 72 cards total in the box. And uh, here goes nothing. All right, pack number one, we've got Miggy. That's a good start to the box, at least a future Hall of Famer that I recognize anyway. Max Kepler, Glaber. Blake Snell, Hugh Darvish, Tariq Skubal. There's a futurist card of Marco Luciano. This is kind of cool. Um, I have a buddy who is really into this guy and always uh, touting how good he's going to be, so uh, or potentially anyway. So I think this is my first card of the man. So uh, as far as pulling like a prospect or someone that I don't really know, I certainly could have done a lot worse than that with my futurist card. So... Uh, I guess despite uh, all my sarcastic complaining, I'm actually off to a halfway decent start here. I like that one. All right, finishing out that pack, we've got a Daniel Lynch Chrome, a Andrew Dahlquist Chrome. These are apparently worthless. I guess if it doesn't have the first Bowman logo on it, then nobody wants anything to do with these. Here's a Gabriel Arias that is a first Bowman, so obviously gonna put that guy into a one touch right away. Christian Robinson. And Matthew Libertor. All right, pack number two. Definitely would say the Futurist insert was the uh, highlight of that first pack. I love some shiny and some color, and that one is uh, definitely checking both those boxes. Here's an Acuna Jr. I like the photograph on that one. Shane Bieber, great first name, as I always say. Christian Yelich, Sean Murphy. Kyle Lewis, last year's American League Rookie of the Year. Max Scherzer, always love getting a new Max card. I collect this guy uh, somewhat, I guess, as much as I play or collect anybody. He and Justin Verlander, so happy to have that one. Here's one of these top 100 inserts featuring uh, Reed Detmers of the Angels. Don't know anything about him. Obviously, he looks like a pitcher. Tyler Soderstrom, Chrome. Hyun Il Choi, first Chrome. That's obviously uh, an amazing, very valuable card. Um, O'Neill Cruz, Jake Vogel, and Pete Crow Armstrong. Little known fact: Armstrong is my middle name, so I kind of uh, kind of like that card. And uh, while we're opening pack three, what I think this is common knowledge, but what I always say about Bowman, and I think most people feel this way, is. Uh, Whatever you think you pulled out of out of your product, just stick it in a box and wait, you know, four or five years and then go back and thumb through it again. And odds are you may have had something that 
Didn't look like much at first, but blossomed into something with uh, the passage of time as it sort of fermented, I guess. Here's uh, Chris Bryant. Shout out to uh, Doug at Don't Talk to Robots and Kaylin. Uh, Anthony Santander. Cool, here's a Bobby Dahlbeck rookie. Um, in my experience, no one seems to care about the Bowman rookie card. They just want the first Bowman and then the Topps rookie card. I don't really know why that is, but Bowman rookie cards always seem very, very cheap. Uh, but I'm glad I got Dahlbeck either way. Here's uh, Christian Pache. That's a cool one. I think this is my first card of him. Um, did not open any flagship Tops this year at all. I just never could find any. Um, so that's definitely my first card of him. Here's a Kiebert Ruiz rookie card. Not my first card of him because I pulled him in Heritage. Luis Patino, the Padres, another rookie. Here's a Rookie of the Year favorites of Joey Bart. like the uh, refractor quality to this one. Uh, Geraldo Perdomo, Blake Walston, Chrome, last one was Chrome too, Zach Veen of the Rockies, Tyler Freeman, and CJ Chatham, new Red Sox card for my collection. I uh, have to be honest, um, I, I said at the outset I'm not much of a prospector. Don't know anything about him, but always happy to, uh, to get a new Boston card. We got three packs left here. Um, I have to say I was a little bit critical here at the outset, but in hand, these are actually kind of nice. Um, it's not a set I'm going to go after or anything, but um, I certainly don't have buyer's remorse like I thought I might. And uh, getting a Mike Trout helps with that. I know it's just a, an everyday base card, but I'm always happy to, to add another Trout to the collection. Here's uh, Luis Castillo, Cody Bellinger, Josh Donaldson. Got some big offensive names in this pack. Aaron Nola. Joey Gallo, Vlad Jr., uh, just a ton of home run power in this uh, in this pack. We got our chrome card of Freitas Nova. Might have pronounced that incorrectly. Apologies to Mr. Nova if I did. James Beard, very famous for uh, restaurant awards. There's uh, Ishmael Mania, or Mena, first Bowman. Uh, Jordan Belazovic of the Twins, and Matthew Thompson of the White Sox. Time for the penultimate pack here. All right, we've got Lou Bob, Freddie Freeman, Tanner Houck, rookie card, that's cool. Did not have that one for my Red Sox collection either. Sam Huff, another rookie. Dalton Varsho, rookie. I uh, have heard the name, um, and I have heard a reference to the fact that he is both a catcher and an outfielder. Um, forget where I heard that recently. I think it was somebody's YouTube video. Uh, Brady Singer, rookie. Alec Baum, rookie. Or Bohm, I don't know. Drew Waters, Bohm and Chrome. Jordan Westberg. Chrome for the Orioles, Asa Lacey, D.L. Hall, and Andrew Vaughn. And that takes us to the final pack. Let's see if we can keep this under 10 minutes. Nolan Arenado, always like him. Juan Soto, a couple of my favorites to start this pack. Aaron Judge, Mike Yastrzemski. Carl's grandson, of course. Bo Bichette. Some, some really good uh, established players in this pack. Trevor Bauer. And here's another top 100. We have Dalton Varsho again. Second appearance of him, of his in the blaster. Gabriel Arias, first Bowman Chrome. Jordan Groshans. Nick Maton, or Maton, first Bowman. Nick York for the Red Sox, and Yusniel Diaz. So that's a wrap. Um, pretty much went how I expected. Do not know the majority of the prospects that were pulled in this, but um, did get that nice futurist insert and some other base cards that I like for my Red Sox collection and, of course, a Mike Trout. So uh, that could have been worse, but I do think I'll stick with my plan of letting the other three kind of marinate on my uh, patch shelf there. So thanks for joining me and I'll be back soon with some more content.
Take care.